Hello everybody, my name is Faethodas, welcome once again to another video for this channel, the line of epic heroes and remember the epic heroes are all of you that subscribe to this channel, including myself of course and uh, or at least I try to be an epic hero, but anyway um, this is uh, the first update video for the vampire build which we saw 10 days ago or 11 days ago I don't remember exactly anyway and uh, here I'm going to show you the update to this build let's see here we will start with the skills and then we will go to the items let's go First we have the rock and the spirit mastery, first the rock, rock mastery. Here we have maxed out all the skills that uh, we, almost all the skills that we said we were going to max out in the second difficulty of the game. Those skills are the anatomy. Now this skill is not only maxed out on its natural cap which is level 8, but it is maxed out on its current uh, cap which is 12 we are 4 levels above the natural cap this is uh, amazing because with this skill now we get plus 199% bleeding damage so we get a very big boost to our bleeding damage uh, of course the skill cannot be upgraded any further but it is very good even in this uh, state. The other skills that we have maxed out are the calculated strike. This is on level 11 out of 8. And uh, here we get a 100% chance to pass through enemies, plus 203% physical damage and uh, 138 piercing damage on level 11. Of course, uh, the add-on of this skill, the lucky hit, is also maxed out at on plus 3 levels. Now this one gives on level 9 318 damage plus 313% percent damage at 648 bleeding damage over 3 seconds. Very 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 nice, very powerful. The next skill which has been maxed out, but this time both natural and uh, current level cap, is a skill open wood. This one on level 16 gives us 33% chance of 441 bleeding damage over 3 seconds. This is also a very powerful skill, as long as it gets activated of course. The other uh, skill which is maxed out is the Disarm Traps, this one is also level 9 out of 6. And on level 9 we get plus 210% damage to devices and damage to constructs and plus 74 less damage from devices and from constructs. This is very nice for our Vampire because he Vampire lives uh, almost forever and devices and constructs are uh, things that are mechanical and not uh, alive, so they should not affect vampires so much. Very nice. The other skill that is maxed out is the skill Mortal Wood, which is the add-on of the Lethal Strike. This one is not maxed out yet, but in the next difficulty it will get maxed out for certainly. So this one is uh, on level 8, on level 8 we get plus 400% uh, physical damage which is outstanding and plus 330% piercing damage which is also amazing. And the add-on is uh, currently on level 11 out of 8 which is the natural cap. On this uh, 11 uh, level we get plus 410% bleeding damage, amazing! And plus 410% poison damage, amazing! Also we get 3 seconds of stun, which is also amazing. So, 
those are the skills that uh, this build is using from this mastery up to this point. Of course, in the next difficulty level, uh, we might add some a couple of uh, skills more of this mastery, and uh, I guess uh, this skill will get activated, the blade honing. But we will see. Nothing is sure yet. Now to the spirit mastery. Here we have maxed out also some skills. The Death Seal Aura, it is currently on level 8 out of 6, which is the natural cap. On level 8 we get a 4.1 meter radius for this aura, 3 to 11% reduction to enemy's health, and minus to 89% total speed. This is very good because uh, monsters that get affected by the Sora uh, have uh, a minus 29% total speed, so we can kill them faster than they can kill us. Also, we have maxed out the skills Ravages of Time, which on level 10 out of natural level cap 8, it gives 41% reduced damage for 1 second, and minus 41% armor absorption to the enemies, of course. <coughs> and the Necrosis, the next add-on of the Death Chill Aura, which gives on level 10 out of 8, a minus 98% bleeding resistance, vitality damage resistance, and life leech resistance. Very powerful. Let's not forget that uh, this skill, in combination with this one, uh, they do very good damage to the enemies. The next uh, skills we have maxed out are the Life Drain, which is on level 14 out of 12. On uh, level 14 this skill deals 247 vitality damage and 280% of attack damage converted to health. This is very nice because it is uh, both offensive and survivability skill, types of skill. And also we have maxed out each add-on, which is the Cascade, <coughs> which deals 113 uh, vitality damage and 260% of attack damage converted to health. This one of course <coughs> hits uh, more uh, enemies. Not the initial target, but the enemies that are close to the initial target. So, but with uh, this add-on, we get more survivability and damage output. It is something as an uh, area of effect uh, skill of uh, a type of skill. This one, so it is very good. Uh, our skill in slave spirit has gone up to five uh, levels now. I did not put any skill points to this skill. Those uh, plus uh, 4 uh, levels come from items that gi give uh, bonuses to skills of this spirit mastery. So on level 5 this skill uh, has a 48 to 64 seconds of might control. The next skill uh, I'm using is of course the vision of death which is upgraded to level 3, again not by putting skill points here, but uh, from item, items that boost the levels of all those skills in Spirit Mastery. And uh, on level 3 we get 7% uh, reduced damage for 4.2 seconds, for, to the enemies of course and uh, 4.1 seconds of fear which is uh, the reason the fear is the reason i'm using this skill uh, yes this is the reason i use this skill the dark covenant is also upgraded to level 3 without putting skill points this one only upgrades the energy regeneration so it is not important for me the other two skills that have been maxed out are the Spirit Ward, which is currently level cap uh, 12 out of natural level cap 8. Now, this one on level 12 gives 
plus 25 damage to undead and plus 62% less damage from undead. And each addon is also maxed out and on current level cap 8. And uh, this is the Spirit Bane which gives plus 90% damage to undead and plus 37 damage to undead. So those two are very important skills for this build because a vampire should not be so much affected by dead people, by the walking dead. And now we go and check the circle of power. Also this skill has been upgraded to level 3 by items that boost skill levels of this mastery. On level 3 we get my uh, plus uh, 15% casting speed, minus 15% recharge, and minus 15% energy cost to our skills. And the last but not least is this skill which uh, I activated in the second difficulty level, of course, the Death Ward. This one activates when health drops below 15%. <coughs> it has 3 second duration, it gives 405 health restored and 36% damage absorption. <coughs> this is a survivability skill of course, it is a passive skill and it is very useful in tough situations when we are going to die. So the skill will get uh, boosted in uh, the future, it will get maxed out because things are going to get uh, very ugly in the legendary difficulty campaign and we will see the, how this skill will save our asses. <laughs> so, that's it for the skills, the changes to the skills. Now let's check out the items. Here we have some items that are different from the previous video and some, uh, some items that didn't change at all. The items that we did not change in the second difficulty level are the bow which is the Death Blossom Legendary, the, the set of uh, the Rogue's Cover which is the chest armor the head armor, the uh, bracers, and the greaves. And also we did not change this ring which is the alki, which gives uh, a big boost to strength points and uh, minus 20% strength requirements for all weapons. Now let's see the items that uh, did change. The artifact, the Ethereal Veil. This one gives cold damage, which is not important for this build, but it gives 100% reduced entrapment duration and 100% skill disruption protection. <coughs> Those two attributes are very useful. They help us survive, of course. And uh, to deal uh, damage uh, without our skills getting uh, disrupted very much. Also we get plus 50 dexterity points which we need of course because we are uh, as a buyer build we deal bleeding damage and dexterity points help very much with the bleeding damage, they boost bleeding damage. And also we get plus 50 damage to undead for the reasons we have said before. And we get 202 reduced armor for 3 seconds. This one goes to the enemies of course that we hit. <coughs> so this one helps also for uh, the damage we deal to enemies. Now let's check uh, the jewels. We have the Bad of Souls legendary ring. This one is very powerful and uh, it's, it is here to stay for this build. You will see now why, because with this ring we get 79% vitality damage resistance, 
This is a very very useful, especially for the legendary difficulty level of the game. We get a 93% life leech resistance, 82% energy leech resistance, 30% chance for one of the following. 138 to 159 life leech retaliation over 3 seconds, very powerful. 126 to 168 energy leech retaliation over 3 seconds, this is useful for us. Also it gives plus 82% life leech, we are a vampire, so this is very important. Plus 75% energy leads, plus 39% uh, energy regeneration, plus 46 defensive ability, very useful, and plus 2 to the skills in Slave Spirit and Spirit Ward. So this, th this ring helps with our skills, these uh, two skills that the plus 2 to this skill and plus 2 to this skill. So this ring is here to stay for good. The, uh, this ring is... Uh, I want to replace it with uh, something more uh, useful for this uh, build. But uh, the problem is uh, this shield. If I take it off, I cannot use this shield. So what is this shield about? This is the legendary Bloodthirst the Gluton. This one gives a Purse resistance, a Life Leech resistance, a plus 38% Life Leech, 13% of attack damage converted to health, which is very useful, very very useful. And it uh, fits of course the theme of the Vampire class. And it gives also 25% chance of 117 life leech retaliation over 3 seconds, very very nice, plus 24 str strength points, which is useful of course, and plus 56 defensive ability, which is always useful. Now, let's check the amulet. This amulet is the Aphrodite's favor. Very good amulet, very powerful amulet for this build especially. This one gives 52% pierce resistance, 54% elemental resistance, 48% poison resistance. Also it gives 97% skill disruption protection and 18% uh, chance of 7 to 12 seconds of might control. Also it gives plus 900 health which is outstanding, plus 44% energy regeneration and plus 2 to all skills. So now you can see where my uh, skills, all of my skills get a boost, a boost, a good boost of plus 2 it is this amulet. Of course, let's not forget that uh, also we get plus 1 to all skills in the Rogue Mastery by this uh, item too, and plus 2 to the skills Spirit Guard and Enslave Ma Spirit. So with uh, this amulet we are very powerful and we have good uh, survivability of course. And uh, the other item the last new item is uh, this uh, green uh, spear, which is the Veteran's uh, Kiank of Annihilation. It has a very good damage and uh, the bonus it grants is the 23 bonus damage, plus 24% physical damage, plus 36% physical damage, plus 15% offensive ability and plus 16% attack speed. I have inserted this item with the legendary Saber Claw, which is a completed uh, charm, which gives 150 bleeding damage over 3 seconds. We are vampires, so we do we deal uh, bloody damage, bloody type of damage. And uh, also this charm gives plus 50 offensive ability, and for the completed charm bonus we get plus 45 offensive ability. Overall, we get plus 
95 offensive ability from this charm, which is amazing, very powerful. So we saw the changes to the skills and also we saw the changes to the items. Now for the legendary difficulty, I want to find a better, a better ring, more uh, fitted uh, for this uh, build. And if I can find a better uh, seed, which uh, I don't think I can do such a thing, this is very good for this build. It would be great, but anyway, we will see what will happen. But also I need to upgrade my artifact. And if it is possible, I want to replace those four items, the complete set with something more powerful, but we will see. This set is very powerful for the epic difficulty level, so if you find it in the normal difficulty and you want to use it in the epic difficulty, go ahead and use it. The complete set, it is very powerful. And uh, yes, yeah, so the bow, I could change the bow too, but this bow is very good and it fits this build very nicely, so I don't need to change that bow, but if I can find anything better, it would be awesome. So, what else do we have here? As uh, we can see, those are my resistances for the epic difficulty. The Paris is maxed out, very nice, the poison is uh, low. And, uh, but anyway, I could survive many times. And uh, in my secondary, I have maxed out the disruption resistance. And uh, the energy resistance, the stun resistance is in a, a good state, in good state, stun resistance 48%, vitality resistance 39%, which is very good, but my bleeding resistance is still uh, minus 40%, and this one is the reason I died 9 times in the epic difficulty level. Total deaths 20. So, that is uh, for this build, uh, guys. The I will continue from here on to the legendary difficulty level with this build. I will try to do my best to find better items to replace some of those. Better artifact. I will try to not uh, die so many times. I will see what I can do. And uh, the next upgrade uh, video for this build will come in 10 days from now. And uh, we will see how it will go. So that's it for now. Let's activate those skills. Zack. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos. More videos are coming very soon. And uh, write a comment, any suggestions you have for this build, maybe you know some items that I haven't found that would uh, benefit this build very good. If you know something like that, any tips are appreciated, suggestions, ideas. Also, if you have any idea for a new build, a thematic build, something like that, write a comment, tell me and I will see if I can do such a thing. Any new ideas are very welcome. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Which will come very soon. Which will not be for this uh, build. But this, uh, the next video for this build will come in 10 days. So stay tuned. And uh, just stay while well and listen. Okay, that is from Descartes Kane. Anyway. Here I leave you now, stay healthy, have fun, play Titan Quest, play Titan Quest, play Titan Quest, okay? Okay, bye.